Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be doing an iOS 7.1 review and basically telling you about some of the best features that Apple did not actually tell you about um, in their release of iOS 7.1. iOS 7.1, as of making this video, is still in beta form and I have it installed here on my iPhone 5. Um, but this will be coming out to the general public in either February or March of 2014, which is this year. So I have some of the best features here um, that iOS 7.1 contains that Apple did not tell you about. So Let's jump right into them. Um, first, in settings, if you go into general and then you go into accessibility, you can actually see a new option here that says button shapes. It will bring back the little upper left hand corner buttons as the iOS system used to have um, instead of just a little arrow. So just to show you, if you look up here in the upper left, when I turn that off, it goes back to a little arrow. When I turn it on, it goes to a button shape, which is quite nice for those who actually want um, more of an idea of where they're going in the general system. Um, also, in the calendar application, um, it is a lot more usable. Um, you can switch between event view like that, as you can see, uh, by clicking directly there. Um, the views are also a lot more helpful when you're switching between it, um, and it really puts events at the forefront of the whole system, which a lot of people use calendar for, and they like it. Um, another tweak comes in Control Center. As you can see, one, there's a new animation when you open it, a new bounce animation. Um, also, if you're playing music, a new uh, screen will appear here to show you more details about the music that you're listening to. And overall, um, it's just a little bit quicker and a little bit speedier, works a little bit better. Um, also, in accessibility, again, if I go back there, they have removed the general black keyboard. You used to have an option to turn on and off the darker keyboard. Um, so it seems they've gotten rid of the general button to do that, but it is included in some apps um, still as of now, like TweetBot, which is good to see that they haven't completely removed it. Um, also, another thing in general, probably the biggest thing that I've noticed um, and to end on for this short little video is the animations. If you guys have probably noticed already, it seems a lot speedier um, as I go and open the new tabs here. Um, as I open the apps, it's a lot speedier than iOS 7 was originally, um, and it just everything in general works a lot better. Like, for example, if I go ahead and lock the screen there, if I go ahead and unlock the device here, um, go ahead and go to multitasking, it seems like everything is a couple of microseconds faster, opens a lot faster, um, and really, I think this is better than iOS 7. I could even use this in beta form right now as my main operating system. Um, and finally, it comes with a lot of bug fixes. They have fixed a lot of the issues that iOS 7 has. I haven't had any issues with this and have this installed on my iPhone 5 for a couple days now. Overall, it's a great operating system, and those were some of the main uh, and best features that Apple did not actually tell you about, about iOS 7.1. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate, thumbs up, favorite, and subscribe, as well as follow my Twitter, my website, Google Plus page, Facebook page, and blog channel in the description down there. It greatly helps me out, guys. Also, if you're interested in getting paid iOS or Android apps for free, check down there in the description for a link to do so. And stay tuned for the iOS 7.1 release. I'll do another review when the official release is out. And hopefully you guys like this video again, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.